It's a spring day at Rhode Island College, a place to learn about arts, science, and politics inside the college halls. But students here at Rhode Island College are learning a lesson outside the classroom, a lesson about government spending and public controversy. It began when the student parliament voted to buy a timeshare condominium at New Hampshire's Loon Mountain Ski Resort. The controversy is over who really benefits, the students or their elected leaders. I feel it is a good investment of student funds. Brian Bursell arranged the purchase for $6,500. He says condo rents will go to an emergency loan fund. Who has been on trips so far to the resort? So far it's been the executive board. Um, we went up there to look at it. Are you a member of the executive board? Yes. If you haven't guessed by now, Brian likes to ski. He says space at the resort will be allotted on a first-come, first-served basis. But the college has 9,000 students. The timeshare can accommodate less than 50 students a year. Plenty of people are angry about that. John Valerio writes for the school paper. A lot of people came to us and said, how can they do this and uh, who, who let them do this? To make matters worse, Rhode Island College raised tuition by $70 in January, just as the timeshare was purchased. I don't think that it's totally necessary. We could have so much more done around here without something like this going on. I think it would be a good idea. I don't really see too much of where my money goes to, mm -hmm. you know, but it's a good idea. Good idea or bad, students here now own a ski vacation spot in the New Hampshire hills one week a year. Tom Briatty, 6 News, Providence.